Good day everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tandokaz Dese and I would like to welcome you to TK's Financial Corner where we talk everything finance. If it's your first time tuning into my channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and welcome to this channel. So today I just want to talk about the importance of budgeting. It is very, very important guys. We can't say this enough. Budgeting is the first step if you want to become financially free. So there's a rule of thumb when it comes to budgeting and it has been proven to be working. So there's a 50, 30, 20 rule, which I will just explain how does it work? What does it mean and how to use it? Okay, so the rule is simple and straight to the point. The first uh, part of the rule says that we all have needs. We all have wants, okay? So if you have an income that you receive on a monthly basis or you have a salary that you are receiving on a monthly basis, 50% of your income should be going towards your basic needs. Basic needs is a home, transportation, clothes, food, water, and electricity. These are the basic needs that we all need to survive, okay? So 50% of your income should be dedicated to these basic needs. If your needs are more than 50% of your income, this means that you need to restructure. You need to relook at your needs. If it, it needs that you need to cut somewhere, then you must cut. If it needs that you need to move to a cheaper apartment, then you need to move to a, to a cheaper apartment. If it means using a cheaper mode of transport, then you need to use a cheaper mode of transport. Though that's your 50%. And then this rule continues to say, 30% of your income should focus on your wants, okay? We all know what are wants. So wants, these are the things that we can live without, but we still find these things very, very important not to live without, okay? So I will make practical examples. These can include your Wi-Fi plan, your data plan. We all need data in the world that we live in, okay? This will include buying clothes, you know, uh, those are the things that we 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 are wants, but we we can't live without. Okay, so your thirty percent of your income should be going towards these things. And again, if you find out that these wants are actually more than thirty percent of your income, then you need to restructure. You need to rearrange. You need to re to relook at your wants. Okay, and rearrange them figure out how you can cut or where you can cut. If you're having a, a, a premium package of a DSTV and you know that you barely watch TV, then you definitely need to cut out, okay? If you have a Netflix account and you know that you barely watch Netflix because you do not have time, then you need to unsubscribe, okay? So those are the things that we, we, we need to look around. It doesn't mean that you must get extra amount of money to accommodate the ones or to accommodate your needs, but you first need to restructure, relook. What is it that you can cut out that is really not that important and you can actually live without, okay? That's our 30%. And then this 30%, also one more thing, it includes paying off debt, okay? So the debts that we pay, the clothing account that you have, the credit card that you have, must be in that 30%. So you need to be paying it in that 30%, okay? Because we know the adverse of not paying the scholars the debts, okay? So if you do not pay your debts, that has a negative impact of, on your credit score. And when you want to get credit in the future, then you will have problems. You get high interest because you are a high risk person, okay? Lenders do not trust you. All right, cool. Now, we're going to talk about the last part of this rule, which is the 20%. Okay, now the 20% that we're talking about, we're talking about you. We're talking about, okay, so the 20%, we're talking about you paying debt. Now, I spoke about paying debt on the 30%. Now, on this 20%, it's additional payments that you are making towards your debt. Say you want to quickly pay off that clothing account in the next six months and you've decided that, that 
on that 20%, on the extra income that you have, you will make additional payments. That's where that 20%, that's what we mean when we say in that 20%, you will be paying a, a debt off. It's additional payments because the main um, payments that you're supposed to make, the minimum required payments are in that 30%, okay? And on that 20%, you also saving up or investing, okay? So this is very, very important. There's one other financial habit that is also mentioned that you need to pay your first, you need to pay yourself first before you do anything when you receive that income, meaning you need to invest somewhere, you need to save your money somewhere, be it you saving your money for retirement on a retirement annuity, or you're saving your money on a tax-free savings account, but you need to be saving for the future. So that was the 50, 30, 20 rule that one can try out if you want to start budgeting. If it works, guys, if you have used it before and it worked for you, please drop your comments below and let us know how has this um, rule of thumb when it comes to budgeting helped you out. Otherwise, thank you so much, guys, for your time and stay tuned for the next video please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell ring bye